games I got on uh, Deal of the Day. This looks spooky. Look at this fucking freak. Yeah, it's kind of it's basically just a push your luck game. Um, but it's interesting. This is the box. It turns into a dice tower. Everything oh. fits beautifully inside. Um, oh, and wow. the uh, dice here glow in the dark. Ooh. Ghosts. Oh my gosh, they're little pumpkin faces too. That's adorable. This mod kind of sucks at is like all like you get like a ton of these ghosts and every single one of them is different. Um, mm. They obviously just use the same one here. Yeah, it would have been easier to do it this way. This is just an infinite bag. Yeah. Um, but yeah, there's not a lot to this game. Basically, like you take turns, you know, going. Uh, to one of these in, areas in one of these areas and it, the higher up you are uh, well let's see there'll be cards out and the higher up you are you get first pick you know it resolves in the order from first second third fourth but the flashlights kind of protect you so when you hit get three people or three meeples in a room you roll, you know, the number of dice on the cards. In this instance, it's all six. So you roll these bitches and like, holy shit, that's <laughs> terrible. You get six, six uh, ghosts here. So basically, uh, well, nobody is in front, but basically it's six minus the number of flashlights you have. So like player red is taking fucking uh, five, like, eight nine, damage. Nine, Ghosts, yeah. Where? How much life do I have? Um. So, uh, you just kind of keep them stockpiled, uh, and they they turn up in the end of the game. So the the goal of the game is to be cursed the the least amount. Oh. And the person with the most ghosts at the end of the game, um, has their ghosts counted against them, and it's. It's one curse for every two ghosts. Jesus Christ! So you'd have four curses already. Yeah, if if you if you if if the other player uh, didn't get as many curses as you, yeah, it's like or ain't as many ghosts. Um, but yeah, uh, you know, you take turns, you you draw, you get your shit off, you flip the card more cards come out and then you kind of just restart <clears throat> um you can go in any of the rooms um it's a really simple game but we we enjoyed it but kind of the cool thing is you know you only use five you know for a two-player game five of these card types okay. and then you remove 16 of them total so it's kind of like uh challengers uh Maybe I, I forget how that game goes. I'm thinking over boss. You know mm. how you use all the tiles because each each of the categories does the same thing. Like I got shoe pretty good with this one because I I got a mask build going, so I could take the risk by going first, just get a bunch of ghosts and then just give them to her because I had a ton of masks. What an <laughs> asshole. <laughs> um, I mean. I... I, I'm down to try it if you want. It's midnight, and it says it's only about a half-hour game, so it's a good one to wind down with. All right. Um, I'm reload this puppy. So how do I... Hmm, how do I use the cards, I guess? There's no setup button. God damn it. Yeah. Um. Let's see. I'll just pick random ones. Oop. I need five card types. I won't do that one. Four, five. And these all have eight. Yes. So they go into a big stack. This would be another one. It would be trivial to script, I think. Oh, yeah. So then take 14 of these yeah. away. 16, yeah. You could just type 16 on your keyboard. Now you can type 10. 
It'll draw 10 into your hand and then just throw them away. You gotta use That's the tough. keys above your letters. I I am. It's just not working. It's also not working for me. <laughs> nope. How That's is that not working? Did they change these so they're not drawable? Where's a... Uh... Lock drives... Oh. You're not... Oh, okay. These cannot go into player hands. Is that intentional? Like, we don't hold our cards in our hands? Uh... Yeah, you kind of just put place them out in front of you. Oh, okay. Well, that's why you can't draw them. Okay. Uh, let's see. What's the setup? Uh, okay. We did that. Randomly choose starting side for the room board. Draw in place. Uh, okay. What is the Ouija thing? Oh, is this relevant? That indicates the first player during a haunt. Uh, uh, secret passage, place a people to, to, okay. So this card stays face down. Um, and then, yeah, you want candy land. Yes. The, boxes the ghosts the zones are to put your ghosts like uh i'm not supposed to know how many ghosts you have i have 52 <laughs> what card did i pick i'm a white guy this time i am getting my ass absolutely fucking slammed ha should have not have done that ah oh, god damn it <laughs> it's a whole new game oh no it's not oh yes it is this is the longest candy land that's ever been candied. Oh god. There there can't possibly be any more negative cards. 61 <laughs> turns? There's nine left. Wow. Oh, 61 boy. turns. All right. Okay, so I play some meeple somewhere. What do these cards do? I don't know. Uh, if you get two of them, discard half of your ghosts. Ooh. Why would I want to dispel two identical twins? So, um, you draw these, and this is worth three curses. Um, but if you get two of them, then you can just flip them, flip two of them over. Um, I see. And those curses don't count towards your so dolls, for you. So dolls, tomes, <laughs> spell all cards of one type for two tomes. Interesting. To spell half of your ghosts. Okay. All right. So how? I guess go ahead and just take your turn then. At game end. Is that what this says? This does not say. What's up? I was just looking to see if you did stuff um, immediately. But uh, yeah, it looks like you do. It looks like the only ones you don't are the ones that specifically say at game end, which nothing is like that out now. When do the rooms resolve? When there's a third meeple, you said? Yes, when a third meeple enters a room. Okay. Uh, I just want to make sure I'm understanding these right away. Uh, when you collect two twin cards with the same curse value, immediately dispel those two cards. The same curse value? Yeah. Where's the twin? When you select two twin. Interesting. So identical twin then is not the art because I was looking at this and this. Yeah, so no, it's those the curse are not value. identical. Right. 
Well, those are also dolls. Those are also dolls. Good um, show. Okay. What does a doll do? Um, oh, it makes sense why they are different. Okay. I'm going in the hallway. <clears throat> okay, so when... So the flashlight... So this will roll three dice when shit goes sideways. Yep. And that happens... Like, a hunt begins uh, when there's three meeples in a room, and that's when we roll the dice and resolve taking cards. Each dice has three faces and three blanks. That's what I was looking at. Okay. <clears throat> so... You've gone in the hallway... This would resolve as instantly. Okay. Two, four, six. Jesus Christ. So if you have multiple... If you put another thing in here, you get two cards from this area? Yeah. Interesting. Hmm. Okay. What's up? <laughs> <laughs> I'll go there. All right. Um, I kind of want my dudes up here. I feel like it's easier. Yeah. Oh, and this is, we don't know what this is, huh? Yep. Uh, when you place a meeple, you get to look at it. Uh -oh. I, I blindfolded. Yeah, if you do <laughs> shift alt, you can peek. So, like, you can unblindfold. See, like, if I hold oh. shift and alt, I'm looking at this card, and you should see an eyeball on it. Yeah, yeah. So that indicates that I am peeking. Okay. All right. Uh, oh, pass. Okay. What uh, triggers endgame? Uh, when all these these cards are gone. Okay. Which... Oh, actually, is that true? I don't think that's true. When... When we resolve a haunt, we'll flip this over and then we'll do it again. And after the second time, it gets removed. When all three rooms are removed, then game ends. Oh, this says when all the curse cards have been taken, the game ends. Yeah, which, which I guess might line up with what I just said with how many. Gotcha. Uh, um. Is it my go or your go? Mine. Hmm. <laughs> and this one is saying you get a ghost immediately if you take that. Okay. I I have no idea. Let's go here. Ooh, spicy. Mm. I make you make the choices. I'll get in here. Okay, so Haunt begins. So is this revealed? When does this reveal? Probably now, right? Uh, it reveals now. I forget who gets the planchetta. The what? The planchetta. What the fuck's that? Where do you see planchetta? If you Place the third the third meeple in the room. Take the plant shut. Oh. I'm an active player. We roll, then we resolve. And then, yeah, we're... Okay, well, that's dumb. Whatever. I get the plant shut. Uh. All right, roll um, dice. Roll in three, three dice. You better not roll shitty. Get those out of here. I want to be on the graveyard. <laughs> One ghosts. One face, so none of us takes any damage. Okay. Uh, um, so, yeah. it's Your pick will resolve these. Okay. So I just I put this in front of me? Yep. Alright. Then you take your meeple back. 
Then I'll take a tome. Yeah, fuck. There we go. Flip this. Yep. Plus ghosts. Oh, taking... What is plus... Oh, lose ghosts? So, yeah, you discard a ghost if you take this card, and you gain a ghost if you take this card. Um, actually, this one... Border cards by ascending curse value. So we actually do it like that. Gotcha. All right. <clears throat> All right. And I think that was my turn. So now I... I have to trigger a hauntable. So I'm going to do the one where I get more cards. So that's three dice. Does this thing work? It did. I two, guess, yeah. Two ghosts. So you take a curse. I take one. But you get first dibs. And I get dibs. And our cards are public knowledge to the other player. Yep. Yeah. Man, I wonder what I should do. <laughs> Fuck. Player resolving the basement may re-roll the dice one time. Okay. Uh, okay. This would be easy to script as well. Yeah. Going big, big into it, eh? Mm -hmm. Hmm. Hmm. Oh, but that makes you take your ghosties. I see. Uh, that's a lot of that's a lot of ghosts. I'm gonna go here. Mm. I don't know. All right, Andy, let's do this one. Oh, snap. So I can uh -huh. re-roll the dice if I want to. So, uh, yes. So that is two, four dice. I'm using the dice tower because it works and that's impressive. Nah, eh, maybe it doesn't really work. I don't know. It's two dice. Or two two ghosts. So I take a damage. Oh. I get first pick. Taking that one. Hmm. So when I get the tome, it is an instant resolve? Yes. Okay. So I'm going to take this one. So... How do I resolve it? So you got a set of two, so you can dispel all cards of one type. 
So is That's this dispelling? Not, no. Yes. If I get a third tome, this doesn't fire. I make another set of two. Right. Okay. I guess I could have rerolled the ghosts. Could have been funny. Uh, but, uh, like that. That's not uh, yeah, so that was flipped, but we still have nine cards. So I'm this like, this one hasn't in... flipped yet. Yeah, but that's where we have six uh, more cards than what we should. After a room is resolved, flip to the other side, draw three cards from the thing. But if no cards remain in the deck, remove the room. Okay, then maybe we just keep flipping it. Okay. It's on the other side because we just basemented it. Okay. okay. May change one dice result. Okay. Okay. I go there. All right, let's do it. <laughs> I'm gonna roll by manual style this time. Five. Uh, yeah. I rolled one face. One face, and nobody takes damage. You get your pick of the. Schmabiggins. Taking that, and I do take a ghost for that. Oh, okay. Oh, I lose a ghost. Hmm. <laughs> oh, good shit. <laughs> I didn't even know. I forgot we fucking had goddamn mirrors. <laughs> mirrors? Oh. Uh, <laughs> Dispel three mirrors. All right. Must have been a lot of what was removed because there's only three fucking cards left. <laughs> it should be your go. Yeah. I'm looking. Hmm. All right, Andy, let's do it. <laughs> uh, let's see. Six. Two. Two. So I take one. And then I get first pick. I'll take that one. Oops, shit. Took the dolly. Three, and four, five, yeah, six. Make the set so these all get dispelled. So the books are kind of a dead draw. Um, Sort of. I mean, they get rid of fucking anything else, but yeah, you can't do anything with them. I can't rid myself of them, yeah. I mean, that said, I'm gonna take this book. Kill a ghost. Okay. Hmm. So is when is endgame now? Are we at it? 
the uh, game ends when all the curse cards have been taken. Okay, so they all so this these are the last sets of rooms then. Yeah. Okay. Little peekaroo. Alright. Hmm. Let's see. I'm going here. Hmm. Why do you want that? Fuck it. See what happens. Five. One. So I get my ghost. You get a ghost. And first pick. Okay. And you have to take the other shit. So if I take this holy water, I have one ghost rounded one divided by two is point five rounded down. That does jack shit. Yeah. Okay. I don't want you to have it. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, I get tome the the meter. So this is out. But that's out. Okay. Uh, let's see here. Oh, I thought that was a mouth. That's a, a well with a tentacle. <laughs> mouth. Mouth. Mm. All right, Andy, let's do it. Uh, three. I'm the haunt initiator. Two. So I take a ghost. I take two ghosts. All right. I'll take the holy water. That's a set of two, so I discard half. Round it down. Round it down. Uh, let's see. I'm taking the tome, and I'm gonna dispel my holy waters. Okay, which means I get the doll. So that's out. Uh... You initiated that, so it is my turn. Yeah. Oh, shit. <laughs> oh, shoot. Oh, fuck. Oh. All right, let's see what we get. Uh, I think I've rolled every one of these, maybe except the first one. <laughs> Nothing. Wow. Okay. Well, obviously, let's see. Do you have holy water? You can't make a set. So I'll take the lowest value card. Okay. Sist, Alrighty. Sist Finn, I have two ghosts. 
I have three ghosts. Six, nine, ten, eleven, fifteen, uh, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three. I think I have twenty-three. Let's see, uh, seven. 10, 15, uh, 16, 19, 20, 1, and then 22. <laughs> 22? I do that right. Se I have 23. 7, seven then, then 10, 15. 16, 19, 21, and then two ghosts is 22. <laughs> oh, wait. How do the ghosts work? Is it every two is a curse? The the person with the most has to do every two. Oh, okay. Then I don't have this. I just added my ghost to my score. Oh, uh, so you have 21? 21. 21. That... <laughs> So you won by one point. <laughs> that was a one point spook fest. Five. Wait. So the ghosts don't do shit for me. Okay, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, seventeen. 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 17. Yeah, 21. Nice. Well spooked. <laughs> <laughs> that looks weird. <laughs> That's fine. Uh, but yeah, it's, it's just a silly game that, you know, has some. Like, we always get halfway through, and I'm like, nobody's taking fucking ghosts. <laughs> yeah. It, it, it's, it's at heart, you know, a push your luck game. Um, it doesn't feel like there's enough pushing. I, I don't know. Yeah. Maybe it was the card choice that we had. It just seems... It, it's very possible. Like, I really like the mask. Because, yeah. like, oh, I'll take the risk. And you you take the fall for it. If you end up with nine or fewer cats, dispel, dispel all your cats. Not everything, right? All but one cat. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Yeah, the mask seems fun. Yeah, and we played with the cat, so she was just doing cat strat only, <laughs> and I did the mask, so I, I loaded it up with like 15 ghosts. So, oh, you know, you're such a dick. So you're just constantly going <laughs> past one, one per mask. So you're just going first slot every time? Yeah. That's funny. Because I had like three or four of these masks, so it's just like, well... Three of these if aren't I, for me. Yeah, if I get like a you know a bad draw, then not my problem. When does this <laughs> fire though? The mask. When you get it. Oh, so every time you get a mask. Yeah. I see. So it it's not like at the end of your turn. Oh fuck. Interesting. Amulets are interesting. There should be eight here. They're missing half of them, but <laughs> like they kind of add. Like, um, you know, if you get the two, it says dispel with a three. If you have, if you have the three, dispel the one with a four. So they kind of like cascade into each other. I see. Taking one of the higher value ones could screw somebody over. It's not bad, this. I mean, it's... It's simple, but it's fun. Easy. Easy to learn. This isn't one that I think I would suggest, but I wouldn't, like, poo-poo on playing it. Yeah, uh, this is, you know, very much a intro lullaby game.